All right, this week, the torture point of me watching terrible things doesn't sound as bad as it usually. Usually I have to watch these leftists make other fools of themselves on TikTok, but this is comedians who apparently break some of the woke rules and the fact that obviously the audience likes it. So let's see if this is any good. This is brought to you by ExpressVPN. You want to take back your privacy by going to expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show. All right, let's look at some of these comics. We live in a really uh, interesting time. We're living in uh, Joe Biden's America. Yeah. Joe Biden's my favorite president to hear speak. Why? Because I like riddles. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he's on TV, it's like a new ad lib. You know, he's like, folks, folks, you know, I was a little boy. America was a small town. <laughs> I used to marry, I used to, uh, I broke my elbow, folks. <laughs> I had a broken elbow, ages four to nine. I'd go, I'd go to, I'd go to the doc, doc, doctor was also the mayor, folks. <laughs> the doc, you didn't pay him any money. You, uh, you give him garlic bread. You, <laughs> you give him a whole bushel of garlic bread, folks. Uh, doctor, mayor, garlic bread. You say, what? Uh, that's the president. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's interesting about that? That kid looks like he's about, what, like 17 years old. What's interesting about that is Jon Stewart, The Daily Show, Mr. Jon's, oh my goodness, was getting flack for making Biden jokes, and he's going to stop. He's going to stop. You know, Thomas Sowell once said, if you want to help somebody, what is it? If you want to help somebody, tell them the truth. If you want to help yourself, tell them what he wants to hear. So Jon Stewart is going to help himself by telling people he want to hear, but people do laugh when you tell the truth. Let's, let's hear another one. John, New York is dangerous as fuck right now. I don't know if you guys can see. I have a couple scars on my face. I got mugged like a month and a half ago. That's why I'm saying it's dangerous. Like, it's genuinely dangerous. That shit sucks. But what I will say about it is, like, it changes your life. Like, when I got mugged, I woke up, I was bleeding, I was concussed, and I woke up 100% Republican. Like, yeah. <laughs> that will change your life. I'll tell you right now. I woke up like we're putting Trump back in office, right? Like, where's daddy, dude? Bring Giuliani back. How about that? The city is not safe. We either get Batman or Trump, and y'all gotta figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are good. They're all so young. These are such young comedians. You know, I, I watch a lot of the Netflix comedy specials like because I don't sleep. So every now and again, I'll turn them on They'll you know, to sort of distract myself from sit, just sitting there worrying about the end of the world. And uh, I, they're, they're nowhere near this funny. They're nowhere near this free. They're all in the clutches of this thing. And they all have their routines about themselves. And they get into this. They're describing their body parts in great detail. Uh it's interesting to see. This is a new generation coming out. I'm wondering where where do we where do we get these? The YouTube. They're on YouTube. All right. So these these are freely available. A excellent. Let's uh, let's see another one. You know, women are really upset that the trans women are like competing in women's sports with them. But I'll be honest. Like I can't wait for the day when trans women completely replace women, women, and women's sports. <laughs> That's my dream. I have a Martin Luther King dream that one day trans women completely replace women women at women's sports. And then women will know what white people went through when we let black people play sports. <laughs> That's difficult, ain't it? This is why we have no sympathy for you ladies. We hear you on the news like, how can we win? They run faster and jump higher. We're like, oh, I wonder what that is like. I wonder. I wonder. That must be so difficult to have a group of people that run faster and jump higher now competing against you. And now you can't play for the Knicks and drop 40 every single day. <laughs> we were like, what should we do? We're like, learn accounting like us. The f Switch your dreams up a little bit. Keep it real with your kids. You gotta keep it real with these white kids, bro. These white kids don't know yet. There's little seven-year-old white kids out there that are like, I wanna be a running back when I get older. Aw, oh, Tommy! <laughs> You're Irish. Look. You have a better chance of going to Hogwarts.
Hogwarts, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's the best one yet, because that was actually a well-written, <laughs> well-written joke. That's a really good. This is this is kind of exciting. This is a new thing, and they're all like all of them. That guy too is well, he had the mustache, so he looked a little older. But that's that is really, really interesting. I mean, it had to happen, right? This is still America, right? You know, you can you build these walls around people. You know, it's not like in the old days they didn't have restrictions on what you could say. It was only for the last, like, like maybe the 70s and the 80s when you could say anything. Then you could say anything. There's always going to be somebody telling you what to say. And then there's always going to be that American spirit that says, you know what? Eh, so I don't make a zillion dollars. So I'll just be funny to the people who are willing to show up. We sold out Madison Square Garden. Sold it out in under two hours. This is good stuff. I like, this is actually, I, I can't believe it. You guys gave me, this is, this may be the second one in a row you gave me where I'm not being tormented by leftists with stuff in their noses, metal in their nose and tattoos on their faces telling me they're like a sex that was made up on Venus. We all know cancel culture threatens free speech, but do you think social media companies are innocent bystanders when they hide your channel from search results for expressing the wrong opinion? That's censorship, plain and simple. Nobody should have the right to silence your voice. The good news is you can fight back by using our trusted privacy partner, ExpressVPN. The problem with big tech companies is that they censor what you see and track what you do online. They track what you're searching for, the videos you watch, everything you click. They use this data to serve ads and can match your activity to your true identity using your device's unique IP address. When you use ExpressVPN, your identity is masked and anonymized by a secure VPN server that encrypts your data. And ExpressVPN makes it super easy. You're protected by just one tap on your computer or phone to turn it on. Even I can use it. Take back your privacy at expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show. You'll get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show. That's expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show to protect your data today. I'll be honest, man. When men and women aren't equal, I'm sorry if that hurts your little stupid ears. <laughs> We're not. We're not equal. Because equal means the word same. We're not the same. In fact, that's my favorite thing about a woman is that she's <laughs> not a dude. Quit pretending we're the same. I don't walk around. I could have a baby if they'd let me. I can't. <laughs> People try to make it, we, 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 are, we're equal, we're the, I want it to be equalized. No, you don't. When any one of you got a babysitter tonight, how many of you picked a dude? None of you. Not because you're sexist, but because you're not dumb. Because the baby would fall off the f balcony. And <laughs> you'd be like, why was the baby on the balcony? He's like, I don't know, I came out to smoke. And you're like, <laughs> That's good too, you know. It's funny, there was a, the New Yorker had a cartoon uh, recently of God and Adam <laughs> sitting in this completely filthy living room playing video games. And Adam finally turns to God and says, when are you going to invent Eve? <laughs> so that was, that was good too. This is all incredibly encouraging. And the funny thing about it is one of the things that has really bugged me about comedy, and I don't care about dirty words. I don't care about sexual content and all that stuff. I've seen everything there is, so there's nothing that's going to shock me. But it got really weird for a while. I think Robin Williams started it, but he was funny at it. But people just doing these minute jokes about your body parts and especially sexual parts and where they went and what they were doing, just stuff like where you're sitting going, you know, it's, it's actually not, this is actually not funny, but it's kind of mentally ill. It's mentally ill to think about your body that way. You know, your body is an expression of yourself. You use your body to express yourself. It's not really about, you know, it's, it's kind of like what they did, what the left did to people. They polluted their brains and so they started to think of themselves like that. And now that these guys aren't doing that, they actually have something to joke about, which is the left. So let's see one, is this one more or last one? Speaking of Alzheimer's, Joe Biden. Uh, <laughs> get political here. It's just crazy to me that we have a president that's definitely going to die on camera. <laughs> uh, it's definitely going to happen. And it's not even going to be like an assassination. He's just going <laughs> to... I know when it's going to happen. I know when. It's going to be during his 12th booster shot. <laughs> Jab his arm and his eyes gonna pop out. Trust the clients. That was good. The best guy was the guy with the mustache. I thought his writing was. Oh, the, wait, we do have one more. Do you feel f his baby mama? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, that's loyalty. It sounds like if, he's, if he's anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you breaking up a family. He's still in his house with his wife and his baby. What's the problem? <laughs> he doesn't with her? Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. <laughs> I mean, maybe he should be he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Four months. Four months. So I, my best advice would be to either I'd say break up with him or also get pregnant. <laughs> Play this game. <laughs> Ad libbing his way through. Uh, really, really, that was actually really interesting. Very, uh, a big change, and all of them very young. N none of them is doing actual political material, but I know where you can find that. You can find that on The Andrew Clavin Show, Fridays, when the opening satire, the funniest satire on the internet. He's great, that guy. I love him. And he's young, too. He's like, I think, what, 152 years old? But that was good. I liked it. I, I feel I actually feel better than when I started. It's a totally different experience than usually when I do this video. For more Clavin-y excellence, like and subscribe. And do not forget to subscribe to The Andrew Clavin Show wherever you get your podcasts.